was uh, coming out of the grocery store the other day, and this little granola-looking kid with a clipboard stopped me. And he goes, excuse me, sir, do you have a minute to fix the environment? And I was like, wow, did you just oversell what's about to happen between the two of us? <laughs> Everybody's been screwing it up for 65 million years, and you and I are going to fix it in a minute? It's just sad you see a little 18-year-old liberal kid, like that clearly in Obama, like that kid wakes up every morning with a bowl of yes, we can. And it's just, I think that's Obama's biggest problem. I, I can't, Obama is to hope, as Obama's supporters are, to false hope. <laughs> like, never in your entire life will you see a little 18-year-old Republican kid outside your supermarket with a clipboard. Like, excuse me, sir, do you have a minute to end a woman's right to choose? <laughs> How about a minute to stand in defiance of two people's love for one another? <laughs> No, because Republicans know that's not how you get shit like that done. You get shit like that done by putting your parents' friends on the Supreme Court. <laughs> it's a historically accurate joke. It's not an easy job sometimes. Stand up here, tell jokes into a microphone. When you realize you could use that very same microphone to warn people about Michelle Bachman. Oh my god, it is a constant struggle in my brain. Like, tell them that joke about jerking off in the shower. She thinks you can pray away the gay. How about that penguin joke? That's a lighthearted little romp. My god, John, they let that monster homeschool her children. And you're the only person in the building with the ability to amplify sound. You guys think that uh, retarded people are a fair game comedically? <laughs> I realize I'm about to joke late on that question. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if people should make fun of retarded people. I do think people are overly sensitive about that word now, though, the R word. Like, I had a lady tell me she, she should never use that word because it's politically incorrect. And I was like, well, we are in luck because I'm not a politician. She goes, you should say mentally challenged, like, oh ma'am, I'm sorry, but that is comedically incorrect. <laughs> Retard is a much funnier word, and once we get tougher laugh crime legislation passed, I'm gonna put you to death by cable guy. <laughs> they say that mentally challenged people can do things that even regular people can't, and it's true, right? I heard a story about a group of 12-year-old kids who all went to the zoo on a field trip. One of them got lost. He was missing for an hour and they found him he was soaking wet from head to toe. They questioned him for 20 minutes about why he was wet and they couldn't get an answer. So they brought him home and his mom found him an hour later in the bathtub with a penguin. He had stolen a penguin from the zoo in his backpack. You can't pull that off if you're not retarded. And he gets to go to regular school from now on, right? Like, hey, what's up? I'm Bobby. I'm smarter than all you bitches. This is Waddles. Because that's the rule for retard steal something from you. They get to keep it because you are too stupid to own it. How long does your 12-year-old son have to be in the bathroom before you think he's probably playing with his penguin in there? surprise are you when it's an actual penguin? <laughs> Here's my favorite part though, they questioned him for 20 minutes about why he was wet and they couldn't get an answer. i tell you guys something, if I'm soaking wet from head to toe and you question me for 20 minutes about it, you are getting an answer. I am going to crack. Not him, he sat there, stone-faced. <laughs> with a penguin in his backpack. <laughs> While they're like, why are you wet, little buddy? <laughs> Poker face. <laughs> and you know the only thing you could possibly be thinking for that entire 20 minutes is, obviously you've never tried to stuff a penguin into a backpack. <laughs> you would know it's pretty hard to do without getting wet. <laughs> I like to think that he was training for that day for months. <laughs> Just doing chin-ups in his room with Penn on one knuckle and Gwyn on the other. <laughs> Listen to a special re-recorded version of Kenny Rogers, the gambler that he made. He's never mid-show wet 
when you're trying to steal a penguin. <laughs> Charting out the plan in his wall, just step one, put penguin in backpack. <laughs> step two, play dumb. No need for our super strength on this mission. <laughs> Some people will laugh at that they can make fun of return. I'm not. I'm trying to tell you all about my own personal hero. What a triumph of the human spirit to have been told you're stupid your entire life, that you got to ride a different bus, that you got to take different classes, and then there you are in the bathtub, Bobby and Waddles. Dreams come true. It's a beautiful story. When they make that movie, yeah, let's be clear, that movie's getting made, right? Hollywood cares about two things, money and awards. Penguin movies make money and retard movies win awards. If you don't think Sean Penn is signing up tomorrow for I Am Sam 2, The Penguin Heist, you're crazy. Morgan Freeman is the voice of Waddles. I don't know why he gets to be the penguin. You guys have been a lot of fun. I'm John Connor. Thanks.